Hey, I'm uh, Andrew, and I cosplay as a UNSC Marine from Halo. I wear this helmet. And I'm Mike, and I cosplay as the Master Chief, obviously from Halo. And well, we cosplay just for fun mostly, nothing professional or serious, uh, but just because we love the games and we like to bring out the uh, fandom into real life. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's cool being able to invoke awe in uh, in uh, people when they like see us like see us bring fantasy into reality and see those huge smiles on people's faces it just makes it all uh, worth it oh the well, experience <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you know what it's always you can't move you just stay in one spot for at least half an hour it's, 10 minutes yeah, no, people, matter, yeah. no matter where you go they're just people like reading for pictures, like running after you. Master Chief, Master Halo guys. Yeah, if you're walking down down the uh, street of uh, Young Street in Toronto, there's people yelling at you like, "Oh my God, it's Master Chief!" And can I get a photo? And people running across the street just for a photo. Even um, people that like don't follow Halo still like come up and be like, "Oh, cool spaceman!" Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I need a picture of this. Need a picture. Like security guards. It's just I don't know. It's just I guess I guess people like seeing. That that fantasy, that like idealized, like superhuman kind of guy, and being like, wow, like look at him, like Mike's like s six and a half feet tall wearing the costume. Yeah. So like, people just I don't know. It's kind of weird that my gaming career actually started with Halo One. That's actually the first time I started playing video games, and uh, it's the most memorable game for me. So after that, I've been a huge fan of it, and so I've been creative, and I just wanted to make. That's what she wanted to show people. Mm -hmm. Well, to like go back onto like a history of us in general. So Mike is really huge into Halo. I mean, you, there's not a wall in <laughs> oh his. <my> God. <laughs> there's not a wall in his uh, basement that isn't covered by by a poster or a figure. <laughs> 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 it's just it's covered, but. Mike loved Halo, and then you you said that you saw a, a yeah. video. Yeah, I saw a video on YouTube uh, from Indie Mogul, and they made a video just showing how to make a Halo costume, and basically they forwarded me to the 405th.com, and it's basically just a website that people just make Halo costumes. They make it from paper, foam, all these different materials, they share their knowledge from wood, everything. Uh, and so. It's really hard to start because you think, how am I going to start this? Like, what do I need? Like, how? Yeah. How, how am I going to make? How this? am I going to make this? Yeah. Like, can I even afford it? And it just takes time. That's all I can say. Like, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. But I guess that's kind of like a... yeah, for sure. Well, like, I don't know. Like, Mike kind of started his like whole cosplaying career when he saw this video, and it kind of put him in a place where like that costume like to make like a master chief armor was actually possible and then mike as as like he was saying he went to the 405th and got like got like ideas and people's opinions like they wrote stuff and he wrote stuff and like he figured out how to make a costume and then in high school everyone knew mike as the like the halo guy that had the master chief suit and uh me and Mike had a class once, and like I was talking to him about like, yeah, man, like I don't know who you are, but I know like you have a Master Chief costume. He's like, yeah, I do. See, like I was never too big into like costume and cosplaying, but then I, I got talking to Mike, and he was like, yeah, man, like like Halo suits are possible. <laughs> like 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 we can like make you like a Marine suit. Like we can do it. And honestly, like it started off being like like a fiction, like there's no possible way that I could become one of those cosplayers that people like go up to, people want pictures with. Like I've been to cons and I've, and I've seen those people crowds around them and I never imagined I could be like that. But with like m Mike's help and like the friendship we made, the months of work and money and sweat <laughs> and parents being pissed at us for like <laughs> taking up garage space forever for months, yeah. for months, yeah. And then just like to have this costume, and then that first con, you never forget yeah, your, your, your first, first big con. People like, oh, just it's ecstatic. Like a, it's yeah. like an adrenaline rush. Oh, just, yeah. just being covered in like people just taking pictures and, and 
and just uh, admiring your work. Yeah. And it's just it's just fun. Like even though it's really tiring and the costume oh, yeah, and, 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 and hot and stuff, like you want to go home because your feet are blistering and stuff. And, but like uh, it's so worth it. As soon as you like strap it on and take that first step, and someone's like, "Can I have a picture?" Like you're, you're still in the parking lot yeah. in the car, taking, putting on your suit. And I had just legs on, and so like, oh, yeah. I take a picture of me. I'm like, "Man, you don't even know what I am." Yet. I'm like, yeah, you're Master Chief. I'm like, "How do you know?" Yeah. How do you no, it's just a green suit of like armored legs and people know, <laughs> so it's funny. We want to show you that anything is possible and any, uh, virtually any costume is just in arm's uh, reach. So let's just show you how we do it. <laughs> 